Hello, today we're going to try out Game Dev Tycoon. Uh, this will actually be my second time. Uh, first time I screwed up, I was nervous, I stuttered, all that kind of shit, but uh, now we will be trying to uh, to do better. Um, suggested by uh, Sattles, the Gubernator, if I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong or something. Still, it's uh, a fun game and we'll give it a second shot. I'll probably try to uh, do a full playthrough this time and uh, Hopefully we'll be able to. I uh, just updated the game to uh, to 3.13 I think. The first one was probably on uh, on something lower if I don't am uh, mistaken very much, but still should be okay. We will uh, we'll also get started and try another time. Welcome, welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 30 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, game fans, and become the leader of the market. We'll go ahead and try to do that. Before you can start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming company a name. Well, uh, we'll call it Hawkeye uh, Studios, I think. Uh, we'll go with that, and uh, we'll call Nathan Hawk. Uh, we want gold, blonde golden hair on him, and we'll give him... Uh, West shirt, I don't know. We'll go with that. Um, I don't think I want a tutorial, but still, congratulations, you just started your very own game development company. At the moment, your office is in a garage and you are the only employee, but don't worry, many su successful businesses have started out this way. Let's start developing your first game. Close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. We'll go right ahead and develop the first game. Before the development can begin you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give uh, your game a name. You can also select which graphic technology your game should use. The options are initially limited but once you have a bit of experience you will be able to unlock new options. So we'll go ahead and create our first game. We should probably pick the topic and genre first. We'll create a... We'll go ahead and just create the uh, first FIFA game I think. Just for fun. Uh, we're in the 80s so we'll call it FIFA 80 <laughs> or something like that. Um, I have no idea when we actually are, but we'll go ahead and call it 80 and then we'll, we'll just keep on making one a year. Uh, achievement unlock supporter. Supporter young startup. Buy the game. Yep, bought it. So that's nothing to worry about. Game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus for your game uh, greatly increases the points you generate. Think about what areas are important for a game and decrease the focus on areas that are less important. If you want to read a brief description of the different areas, please refer to the health menu. Well, that's quite nice. It's this game, so we need <laughs> no story requests, we need engine and gameplay. That's basically what we need. Probably a little bit more in the engine than the gameplay. And I believe in. Yeah. Game development has not started. Why, thank you. Yeah, while well, developing a game, you will generate game points which you can see bubbling up. Game points are divided into design points and technology points. The more points you generate, the better the game will be. Yeah. Also bugs, of course. Uh, we should fix after we have actually created the game. As you can see, design and technology points, I believe uh, the best is to have them actually equal. It's a sports game where you're basically playing no dialogues, level design, not that important, artificial intelligence. Uh, I want to have a good AI, I guess. But still, as you can see, design technology, as far as I know, the core goal of the game should probably be to uh, to try and have them equal like they are now, 6-6. Six, six. Uh, during development you can also select additional features for the game. Right now you can only pick basic sound, but your options will increase quickly. Selecting additional features makes the game generally better, but also increases its cost. You also see the graphic type you selected when you define the game. This will just remind you of your choice. You can change the type of graphics made the game. Well, that's okay. We'll design, uh, as far as I know, that actually backlog and more RPG elements. So we'll turn it down graphics and sound will be probably be important. And I just want to see, I just want to see things. Nope. Uh, I just want to see if I can turn off the tutorial, but it seems that I can't. So uh, we'll go ahead and, and just allow it to play. But pretty much, the development of your first game is not complete. You can press the finish button to publish your game, but you should only do that once you have fixed the majority of bugs. Please send a game without fixing bugs can severely affect your ratings. 
so you should only ever consider that if you need a cash and can't afford to wait. Yeah. I also believe you will uh, have to develop a patch later on uh, if you uh, release a game with bugs. But you can see I also got two extra technology points there, so you can polish a game for basically as long as you want, but uh, there are limits to how many extra points you can get. The development of your game is now finished. While developing games, you gain experience and improve your skills. When the de development is completed, you will be presented with a summary of the experience gained. Then we'll go ahead to our summary. We have bonus 1.6, new topic, new combo, great combo. As you can see, the things that we are focused on, engine gameplay, uh, artificial <laughs> intelligence, graphics and sound, uh, we've been given more points in those than the things we didn't focus on. And I also think you need to go over a certain level of graphics to actually get the next kind of graphic uh, thingy. So we'll go ahead and release our game. Good judgment, create a game with a good team to show combination. Your game is now complete and will be handed off to publishing. We should see reviews and sales coming in for the game soon. You finish your first game. When you develop the game, you also gain research points. You can use these points to unlock new options for future games. Bring up the research menu, close this message, and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Yeah, I believe I can research uh, just topics now, but uh, it's okay. Research is important to unlock new options and make better games. You should try to save enough research points to be able to create your own game engines. This will greatly improve your games. And try to develop games with a different topic and genre combination for a slight research boost. Yeah. We need 50 points to create a, our own custom game engine, which will indeed allow us to create much better games. But uh, we'll go ahead and create our second game. We'll make a medieval RPG. Um, what should we call it? Uh, Knight's Quest? Or King's Quest, perhaps? I don't know if there actually is a game that's named that, but probably is. Still, we'll call it that. We'll be developing for the PC pretty much for a while now, simply because, uh, well, it's cheaper, and uh, I've really seen an issue by doing so. Uh, falls a bit short, 5. 6 sports simulation is a great combination, 6 quite a bit good, and 6 shows potential. Uh, not a bad start, but of course could have been better. Uh, I think story quests, gameplay, and engine. We'll go with that, it's, it looks okay basically. Hawkeye Studios, a newcomer in the game industry just released the first game, FIFA, FIFA 80. The game received favorable reviews with such a good start, Hawkeye Studios are sure to gain fans quickly. Yeah, I hope so, at least. Uh, yeah, we sold quite a lot. Uh, 5.8 just during the first week, which is quite nice. We gained 40k uh, along with 44 fans. Now that your game is on sale, you will receive uh, the income from the game every week. You can see how well your game is doing by looking at the sales graph in the top right of the screen. Yeah, thank you. We now have 44 fans. Nice. Uh, just what I said while we were doing the other thing. Uh, artificial intelligence, probably not so much level design. I'm just thinking what I prefer in RPG. Uh, probably artificial intelligence at level design at the same, but dialogues would probably be kind of important, I guess. I don't play too many RPGs myself, so uh, I don't really know, but hopefully you won't mess this up too bad. RPGs will probably enjoy a, uh, a large degree of well design uh, back lore, so uh, we'll go ahead and uh, set it up like that. FIFA 80s has achieved a company sales record with over 10k units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of Hawkeye Studios. Yeah, it sold quite well to just have 6, and we also gained some fans. We yeah, if only I could gain fans to YouTube this fast, it would be fun, but still, it's fun enough to make uh, make a little video while I'm playing. I, I don't really see the point why I shouldn't. A new topic, a new combo, it's not a... Yeah, it's, it's actually a great combo, which is quite nice. Engine, story quests... Uh, I'll probably just speed this up a little bit. Yeah, probably our next game will level up to level 2, and uh, I believe that should make it easier. I believe the easiest games to make are probably military action games, like uh, basically a first person shooter, so we'll simply call this FPS. Um, <laughs> introduce the genre, more or less. So uh, we'll have to see how we'll do this, but uh, it should be okay. Our first, the first review for our newly released game, yeah, sorry, for our newly released game, King's Quest came in. Well, it's probably the same as the FIFA one, or probably it'll beat it. Nope, seems like it's. 
they actually beef it, but uh, a first seven, which is quite nice. Uh, engine gameplay. I don't have needs for uh, stories or quests, so we'll go ahead and push for this. King's Quest didn't sell as good as FIFA though, even if it had better ratings. So uh, that sucks. Still, it's higher ranked. I believe FIFA was ranked 53. Contract work. Hi there. I just finished King's Quest, and I'm impressed by your talent. Uh, I'm in the contracting business, and we could use skills like yours. If you have a shot on cash, just let me know, and I will see if I have some work for you. Jason. Yeah, contracts have now been unlocked. To see a fellow book contract, close this mission, and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Probably won't be doing any contracts. Uh, to me, they're basically a waste of time. You, uh, you basically take your points, the design and... Uh, Technology points, and you pour them into uh, into uh, what's it called? Uh, a contract. You do a work job for someone, and basically it gives you a little bit of money. So it's good when I have short-term money, but I have 8k a month in expenses, so I can sit here for over a year and still don't have any issues, as you can see. So game of the market. FIFA 80 is now off the market. Sold 16,175 units, generating 113,000 in sales. So that's quite nice. Let's see if uh, King's Quest can actually uh, can actually keep up, or <laughs> if it ends up on the same level. It seems that uh, this game won't really <laughs> meet up at at all. More or less, simply because, uh, as you can see, the design technology points probably won't go with 10. Perhaps I don't think so. It doesn't seem like it. Oh, they actually, yeah, they actually went and we got one extra points. Uh, industry news. Recent market studies suggest that Govados G64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer low price, greater availability, and the flexible hardware configuration over other home computers. Well, basically, this is uh, the Commodore, so they don't have licenses for anything, so you'll get from names like that, but I don't mind really. It's uh, it's better than they're not cre or creating a fictional name, a completely fictional name, because this. Uh, Allows you to rely a little, or relay, or however you. What's the word? Still. Yeah, I'm just sure babbling, but still, uh, it allows you to uh, to get a little knowledge of how gaming industry actually started. Experts say that this might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. So, the <laughs> Commodore did great, but then it uh, screwed up later on, which we'll probably see. So, yeah, just got an extra design point, but uh, we'll finish it up anyway. New record, new topic, new combo, great combo. Uh, we'll level up quite a bit of things. Engine, gameplay, level design, artificial intelligence, graphics, sound, and uh, myself up to level 2. So that's quite nice. Uh, we'll go ahead and release game. We need a 50 for a custom engine, so we'll go actually go ahead and just research it now. Uh, we'll probably need to uh, research a lot of things to actually put in the engine, so we'll probably not create this one uh, straight away. The first reviews for FPS has come in. And they are about the same level as the first ones, it seems. So X5 could have been more, falls a bit short. I like it, Game Hero. Um, A7, good game by all games. That's uh, quite nice, actually. It should allow me to uh, to keep going for a while. It sells okay as well, so yeah. We're, as long as we're gaining fans, uh, I don't really mind if uh, we start losing them because I created a sucky game. That would uh, suck. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll keep on pushing with, uh, as we are now basically and uh, see what we can really do. Uh, research complete. You have successfully researched custom and oh yeah, research custom game engine. Now you can create your own game engines. Uh, basically, you can do this: create custom engines. You can. Yeah, I should probably do that. 2D graphics, mono sound, I can add linear story, save games. So I should probably create the Hawk Engine 1.0. Uh, or since we're called iStudio, Hawk iStudio, we'll call something called the i 1.0. We'll actually call it the i. And uh, with this, we'll probably just go ahead and create the first engine. Uh, 2D graphics v2. It should, it should boost us quite a lot. You're not creating your own custom game engine. Once it is finished, you'll be able to use it when creating new games. You don't say. Still, it also gives us some research points, which is nice. And I'll probably have to create another engine before I can actually uh, get going, really going. So, which will be interesting. 
According to rumors, the Japanese company Nintendo is planning to launch its very own home co gaming console. Nintendo is known for the wildly successful arcade game Dinky King or Donkey Kong. Many industry experts doubt that the home gaming consoles will <laughs> take off, but we are eager to see what Nintendo will deliver. Yeah, the PS3, the Xbox, the Wii, the all of the games, good Nintendo 64, and so forth, the PS1, PS2. Yeah, they didn't take off at all. <laughs> so yeah, many uh, experts have been wrong throughout the time, so... Take every time you hear experts say something, give them 20, 30 years, and then... Uh, then you can actually say if it was an expert or not. And that's over 100k in a new game engine. Not bad, it's actually an achievement. Uh, forgotten about that. Congratulations, your first custom game engine is now ready. You should try using it in your next game. Uh, we'll actually go ahead and do just that. Uh, we'll go ahead and create a space sim. I believe that should be an okay combination for the PC again with uh, the eye. Uh, we'll simply call it uh, stars. I know idea what we're actually simulating, so that's why. You see, 2D graphics is quite a bit more expensive than the other ones, so hopefully we'll have enough money to actually uh, create this. Uh, we won't save games, we could add a little story quest, but still. I don't have the money to put too much into this game, seeing as I should probably have made a couple of other games before we actually uh, went ahead and tried to create this. Uh, I don't know if we actually need any dialogues in sim game. If you're thinking of SimCity or something like that, you probably would have, but this is a space game, so probably just a tiny, whiny bitty. Probably not anything more, at least. So uh, we'll go ahead and see how uh, this works out. We'll design, probably a bit more sound. We'll go with mono sound. A bit more expensive, but we have the money. Today, Nimento has confirmed recent rumors and announced the plans to release a new home gaming console called the TESS early next year. Uh, the console features cartridge-based games and a uniquely designed controller. I should leave a half one of those lying around somewhere. Damn, I, <laughs> I want to play it now. That sucks. I have to go and find it. Thank you to Nathan Hawk from Patrick and Daniel Clue, Greenhead <laughs> Greenheart Games. Hi Nathan Hawk, we are the creative game dev tycoon. I would like to thank you very much for purchasing the game and supporting us. Well. You're welcome because this is a fun game and uh, it doesn't cost that much. I believe it's what is it? Uh, ten under ten bucks. So uh, yeah, it's it's very cheap. You will probably pour more time into it than you think. So yeah, it's it's worth the money. Game Dev Tycoon is our very first game and it means a lot to us that you're enjoying it. With your purchase. <laughs> Purchase, you support a little startup, and this will hopefully make sure that we can review more games in the future. Seriously, you rock. Thank you very much, and have fun with the game, the Tycoon. I will. Hopefully you can create something uh, even better in the future. Hopefully I do. I actually gain six fans for doing nothing. But we'll go ahead and finish this up. Uh, hi, I'm Carolyn, which is from the local news. I've heard rumors that you're already working on your next game. I would love to do an interview about it. Do you have some time? Sure. Great, thank you for the time. I believe uh, that you should be published. I believe this would actually have created some hype had I not been done with the game, so to speak. So that's that's a little bit sucky, but still. Uh, new topic, new combo. It's actually a great combo, which is a bit surprising. Uh, space strategy, space action, perhaps, are great combos as well. So we'll probably go ahead and try to create them later. Story quest, dialogues, things that didn't pop up the last time have gone up. And with this new engine, I can also upgrade my graphics. So I think I need to get this to level 3 before I can get the next 2D graphics but versus 3 or 3D graphics versus 1, something like that. But uh, we'll go ahead, release the game, and we have new research, a joystick. Um, we'll actually wait till uh, the first week that the game has been actually sold before we create the next one. Simply because uh, we don't really have the money. I believe it costs 35k, so uh, we'll wait. Hawkeye Studios, a local startup, is trying to make it big in the gaming industry. The company has already published three games and is working hard on the next. An interview founder Nathan Hawk said that the next game is going to be a space simulation game, something the company has not done before. It's great to see small companies enter exciting new industries. All the best of luck to Hawkeye Studios. Why, thank you. Still, we have to see how the reviews go and... <coughs> hey, seven. Good game, Star Games. Not bad. 
and a, a 9, one of the best in Fall Gamer. Not bad, not bad. A 8, played for days, so... Another 7, yeah, nice experience. So we're actually closing in on uh, on uh, getting the big... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, the big hit, which will enable us to, uh, to do a lot more and uh, make more interesting games, but... Uh, Unfortunately, I think I have to end this first episode here, or part, or whatever you want to call it, but still. Uh, thank you for watching, hopefully you liked Sassatles and uh, the rest of you guys. Uh, if you want me to play something else, or want anything really, just uh, comment on a video, or send me a message, anything you feel like, and uh, I'll see you soon. Thank you.